Hello everyone, my name is Barak and I'm from Ben Gurion University. My colleagues Ben Nassi and Yuval Alovich and we worked on VSAS detecting GPS spoofing attack against drone by analyzing cameras video stream. Our agenda for today is motivation for the work, go over proposed method, then present the analysis and simulation environment, go through real-world evaluation, and summary. So, let's start. Drone adoption rates raise every year in every aspect, from private drones to shipments, such as Amazon or pizza deliveries. GPS spoofing attack can harm drones in various forms. Countermeasure against GPS spoofing suffer from one of the following disadvantages. The need of external hardware, prior knowledge of the terrain route, or existing data. GPS spoofing attack continue to endanger security of drones, and these days there is no global solution for that problem. The proposed method relies on the data obtained from two sources, one from GPS sensor itself and the other from on-board camera video stream. Our assumption that unlike GPS signals, it is hard to spoof the video stream of the drone. We offer a detection method for GPS spoofing attack, which does not rely on adding hardware and or any prior knowledge of the terrain. To detect GPS spoofing attack, our method correlates a drone's movement calculated from the GPS signals with the real-time video stream frames based on, the on this correlation and a pre-knowledge threshold, our method determines whatever a GPS spoofing attack has occurred. This is an example for the method. In this example, we collect four frames and try to, to predict the distance of the fifth frame. We have four frames and their GPS location. From that, we produce a function to predict the next frame. After gaining the fifth frame, we calculate the predict distance. If predict distance is the same as real distance, the GPS location correlates with the frame, indicating that there was no GPS spoofing attack on the drone. If predict distance is larger than the real distance, there is no correlation between the GPS location and the frame, confirming that there has been a GPS spoofing attack. The significance of our method is that it relies on existing hardware. It's database independent. It offers flexibility by implementation on the drone itself or on ground station. We give accuracy level of average of two and a half meters. We built this uh, simulation and designed to examine our solution in a controlled environment and no external disturbance. We also did a POC for various fields conditions. How to work with the environment? First, obtain a map from Google Earth. Second, insert the drone speed and altitude and click submit. Third, click on the image. The position clicked on represent the drone's starting point, and the black frame capture what the drone sees in a specific frame. And lastly, use the arrow to move the black frame on the map. Each movement will crop an image and the different in distance between each frame is calculated, and the correlation between each frame is also calculated. Then just click enter and finish. There are four influences that were checked. The altitude. As the drone's altitude increases, its perspective widens, and the change between two frames are more significant. In flights at high altitude, we get better results. For speed, as the drone's speed increases, its perspective widens, and the correlation between frames decreases accordingly. We flew in constant velocity in the experiments. For the terrain, we notice that in unsettled areas, there are limited changes in the correlation. 
We aim the solution for deliverables that often are in uh, subtle areas. For ambient light, we note that our method relies on video stream from drone's built-in camera, which does not provide any special night vision capabilities or ability to see in a total darkness. We notice that in 25% light, we still get good results. In real experiment, we use DJI Mavic 2 Pro. Because of our altitude regulations, we flew at 50 and 100 meters. The routes were like star shape that represent a delivery of two points and go back home. We had about 5,000 points that were examined. We observed that when the time window is small, the average prediction error is high. For example, the window size is 2. In this case, the average prediction error is less than 1, but the maximum error is high. In addition, in the figures we can see that the middle frame, the maximum error is at a lowest level and it remains constant for a several window size. When the window size grows, the error also starts to increase. We examined the force positive rate for a specific window size, in which the maximum prediction error remains constant. At an altitude of 50 meters, the maximum error distance is 6 meters for all window size. And at an altitude of 100 meters, the maximum error distance is 5 meters for all window size. If you will look, we see, can see also that after about three, a uh, distance of 3 meters, the error rate is about close to zero. So, to sum up, in the future commercial drones will increase. GPS spoofing attack against drones are a significant gap that threatens drones' ability to perform their tasks. We presented a method to detect GPS spoofing attack using a drone's video stream. Our method advantage include the fact that it does not require any extra hardware or prior knowledge about the flight area. That's all. I want to thank you all for listening and having me at AutoSec 2022. Bye. Have a good day.